discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. Hello, my name is Douglas Falk, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Vita Therapeutics, a cell engineering company that was formed in 2019 at a Johns Hopkins University. At Vita, we focus on combining gene editing technology with traditional cell therapy with the goal of replacing defective cells in patients with functional cells. One of the first sets of diseases that we're very focused on right now include muscular dystrophy. Muscular dystrophy is a very large group of diseases that for the most part all work in a very similar fashion. These patients are born with a specific genetic mutation that cause them to lack certain proteins that are actually necessary for muscle production. So unfortunately, over time, these patients are losing both muscle mass and muscle function. As you might imagine, this leads to severe limitations and disabilities uh, to the patient themselves as the disease progresses and worsens over time. These patients have no curative treatments whatsoever. Really all that they have available currently are uh, supportive treatments like anti-inflammatories. And when you focus on the therapies that are currently being uh, designed for these patients, at best, they represent an opportunity to temporarily stabilize the disease. At Vita, what we're actually hoping to accomplish is to actually take that one step farther. Instead of just temporarily stabilizing the disease, we actually want to deliver a therapy that can actually restore healthy human muscle back to the patient themselves. So to do this, we use induced pluripotent stem cell technology to derive a very specific cell type known as satellite cells. Satellite cells are actually the very foundation of muscle biology. When our muscles are injured, a series of me mechanisms occurs that actually starts this satellite cell in a process to either repair the damaged muscle or actually replace it entirely. And that's exactly what Vita's iPSC-derived satellite cells has been able to show preclinically. We can actually use our human satellite cells to actually regenerate human muscle across various different preclinical models. So long-term, our goal is to use these cells to treat a number of different muscular dystrophies, and then beyond that, treat a number of different degenerative muscle conditions. So early on, we were really thankful to receive some support from the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund. Uh, this allowed us to actually go ahead, get started, start testing our satellite cells preclinically uh, on a number of these different models, uh, where you then now fast forward to today, where we've actually put together a program called VTA100 that's actually on its way towards getting into the clinic. Uh, so VTA100 is actually designed specifically for limb girdle muscular dystrophy uh, 2A patients. Uh, and at this point, we're about 18 months away um, from being able to file that first IND uh, and then uh, start dosing our first set of patients. Uh, we're very excited. Uh, we really think that th this is the first step uh, in achieving our ultimate goal of restoring healthy, functional muscle back into uh, muscular tissue patients. Thank you. Accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.